This afternoon, the Brighton Police and Fire Department went on a very important mission, and with the help of Santa, they were able to pull it off. New at 5, Denver 7 reporter Brenda Lise Gonzalez is in Brighton, where one family got the surprise of a lifetime. Molly, the family planned to spend their Christmas at a place like this, a parking lot. That is until the Brighton Police Department heard about their situation and then gave them a place to stay here at this hotel, but that isn't the only gift they got today. This is typically the sound, meaning something's gone wrong. Sometimes we don't see some of the best things in, in the day-to-day -day activities of the fire service or the police service. But for once, on Christmas Eve, it's totally planned. I just, I can't wait to see their faces. It all started when Officer Anne Marie Stapleton got a call about a family of eight living in this RV at a Walmart parking lot. Could you imagine waking up Christmas morning and looking out a window and seeing a Walmart sign? So we had to do this. Officer Stapleton and the rest of our team got a little help from the Brighton Fire Department and the man who does Christmas best. Look right there. This is a real Santa. Loaded with a bag full of donated gifts, Santa gave these kids something their parents thought they wouldn't have this year. I had $5,000 and, and I knew I was losing my house and I had to decide what to do and I thought, RV, at least we can live somewhere. More than just the presents. Whoa. Everyone got a gift. Joyous, happy, grateful. Just grateful. No money can buy. It's about giving. I mean, really, the, it's, it's about happiness and joy and, and making sure that, that, you know, it's not about us. The gift giving doesn't stop here today. The Brighton Police Department plan to raise enough money to get this family a car so that then they can get a job and be able to go there and get money to save up so they can leave that RV. Reporting live, Brenda Lee Gonzalez, Denver 7. Great to see. All right, thank you, Brenda Lee.